In this video, I'm going to be breaking down what I'm doing, why I'm doing it in a live online game of Madden 21 as I prepare for the Madden Classic Tournament this weekend. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. Now the way that I accomplish that is through tips, through strategies, and through studying players every single day. My goal is to try to get a little bit better every single day. And so if you want to kind of come along this journey with me and get better at Madden together, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe. And as I learn things, I like to share them with you um, in my YouTube videos. Also, if you have any questions about the um, combinations or the things that you're seeing in this video, you can always text me. My phone number is in the top left hand corner of your screen. And last but not least, if you want to get my offense or defensive e-guides those are in the description as well and those are uh, primarily uh, basically what those will do is it will help you you know kind of learn what how to run the scheme as a whole so anyways jumping into some gameplay here i'm playing on xbox right now so i'm still trying to get used to the xbox controller and uh, playing the Chiefs, so those are kind of two things. Like those are kind of two things that are really, really big a big deal because the Chiefs are hard to play against. The Chiefs are a good Madden team um, because they have 99 speed Tyreek Hill. They also have 97 speed McCole Hardman, and they have a tight end who has tight end apprentice as well as Patrick Mahomes who has um, dashing dead eye, which dashing dead eye is an ability that not very many people use this year, but when used properly, it can be very, very difficult to stop. So um, I'm actually surprised that he came out and kind of ran with an iPhone tight. He must be setting up his audibles um, or something like that. But anyway, it looks like he's going to go to eye tight again. Now I like to make sure that I put a safety over the top of Tyreek Hill. So I run a lot of quarters, a lot of cover four quarters. That's kind of my core defense that I like to base out of. But one of the adjustments that I make whenever I play the Chiefs, because of how good um, they really are, um, is I will always, always, always put a safety in a deep half whenever I'm playing Tyreek Hill. Like I will never not do that. And the reason why is just to be safe. I mean, he is the probably the best wide receiver in regs, in my opinion, because literally he can glitch out almost any coverage himself just because he's super fast, um, as you see here. And then just kind of trying to get a handle on the route combos. Um, I'm not quite sure. I don't think I've ever seen a route combo like what he just ran. I don't even know what McCole Harbin was on. I think he probably was on a slant route or something. That was probably my responsibility. Um, but I've been working on this cover four quarters defense for a couple weeks now, and it's working really, really well for me on defense. I feel really, uh, I feel good on defense. Um, there's a couple things, um, the, a couple kinks that I still need to obviously work out before the Madden Classic. But uh, let's see here. So it looks like he's going to audible around a little bit. Uh, Tyreek Hill is going to go to the left side. And I'm telling you, wherever Tyreek Hill goes, I pretty much always will put some type of zone over there, some type of man coverage, a little O1 one trap right there. And and what I like about this uh, defense that I'm running is it's it's really good against the run and the pass. It's good against both. So uh, if you want to get the defense, uh, that is in the description. Uh, but again, here, Tyree Kill is really the primary player that I'm concerned about the most. Um, he's the one that I really want to stop. So wherever he goes, we're going to be in man coverage and just kind of try to take him away. There's a little motion slant. And that cross man almost did a pretty decent job at that, but ended up did he ended up was able to um, to hit that. And so again, my adjustments are a little shaky right now. I'm not really locking in here. And Perry Nickerson with a pick. And that should have been an interception, but I dropped it. So good job by him, I guess. Um, by getting it to where only his receiver can get it, or if he got picked, he'd be able to throw it out of bounds. But first, uh, I'm just running my my kind of my base um, my base bunch uh, defense out of the ebook right now, and uh, just kind of kind of see you know what that means for us. Uh, what I like to do out of bunch because there's not a ton of great runs. Um, I'm going to do a lot of this defense right here. I like to shift away uh, in bunch. And just keep this keep this going right here. Now I do have to watch and just be careful. And that's a I've ne man. I've never I've never been hit by that route. I don't know what he just threw. I think that was verticals. This guy's definitely got some interesting, um, you know, some interesting stuff. And so you see here, motioning Tyreek kill across. We're literally just gonna follow him and put a deep path over there, uh, and just try to keep that 
try to keep Tyreek Hill from killing us. That's really the goal. Um, this is kind of a scummy, uh, not scummy, but just like interesting scheme that he's running. It's basically if he needs to pass, he's going to run a uh, bunch. And if he needs to run, he's going to, and otherwise he's going to run um, I form tight all game. So that's interesting to me. All right. So then going to go down here. Now, last time he ran 0 one trap. So I'm going to try to shoot this. And runs a little RPO bubble screen to Tyreek Hill. Tyreek breaks a tackle. And that's it's it's interesting. I, I think he's gotta be in Carolina, you would think. I don't know if he is or not for sure. But we'll see. Now he actually really likes to run. He hasn't ran an option route yet. The one route that I'm kind of concerned about for the classic is an option route. Um, so you see here, we're just going to man up the tight end or the running back and tight end drag got us tight end drag. So good drive so far by him. I'm telling you, if you mix up these underneath routes on a bunch, it can be really, really difficult. Um, I've got to do it. I need to put a three wreck out there. I haven't been putting a three wreck out there as well. So I need to replace that three wreck to take care of the underneath stuff. And then I need to really watch out. If Tyree Kill motions over, um, I mean, I feel like you almost have to user him. But I form close coming up next for him. Tyree Kill is on the left side, so we're going to put the deep half over there. And we're going to play two seam flats. We're going to man up the tight end here. And we're going to shift to the side of strength. And this should be power O, you would think. Yep. A little dive. Good call. He's playing a very safe, safe, safe scheme. Um, he's really only putting the ball in the air in, in critical situations. Uh, right here, we're going to go to quarters. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is I, because of Tyree Kill, I can't, um, I can't just play it like this. I have to do this, and that's unfortunate because this is definitely a disadvantage to me to run this defense just like this. But here, stretches out, and that's why I like that defense. That defense, that's the nickel normal defense. I, it's it's really good against the run um, inside the twenty yard line. Like that's my go to defense um, for inside the twenty. All right, right here we're gonna go with two uh, two seam flats, and we need to get a three wreck on the field. And we're gonna do that there. All right, Tyree kill on the slant. We got to watch out for that. And the tight end streak, interesting. I don't know how that – oh, man, that should not have worked. He, mo I guess he – eh, I don't know. Didn't really like that read, but I guess it's a good read. So, all right, he's going to goal line here. We're going to quarters. And there's that run defense I'm talking about. That nickel normal is so good. It's it's. I think that run D is better than big nickel. It might be the same as big nickel, but it's. I think it's a little bit better. All right, so he's going back to goal line here. He actually caught me off guard here. He's going to do a little flip glitch. And I'm off balance. I'm off my spot. And I got to be careful here. He might get me. Let's see if he passes. Let's be interesting if he passes here. Flipping again. Probably going to be power O. And good defense by me. And let's see if he goes no huddle. Nope. Now, since it's third and goal, and the situation kind of definitely justifies this, um, I'm going to try to go to, I think, the linebacker pass rush package maybe. 58 and 42 40 ins package I don't know there's a package and I gotta I gotta make sure that the 40 ins package is that but I have to sub the guys manually in unfortunately so we're just gonna be in our standard package here but I'm gonna go to double safety blitz in this situation and basically I just shift to the side of strength here this safety you'll see you'll be surprised let's see what he does here flips let's just see how we do we got man coverage on the outside there. I think we probably should have been able to get that, but we weren't. So good drive by him. He took literally the whole first half. So that's a little unfortunate. But 16 plays, 68 yards, 7 minutes off the clock. You can't be mad at him. We do get balled half, though. And my offense, I feel really good about where my offense is at heading into this tournament. Um, I feel like bunch tight in. A lot of people run it as a gimmick, but they don't really run it as a system. And 
I think the bunch tight end um, gives you the best routes in the game, in my opinion. So, anyway, we're going to dive right into that. So, Tavon Austin, Valdez Scantling, and then Mr. Tumnus, Robert Tunyon. And we're going to roll with this thing, man. So, his touchdown, I think he threw a tight end out route. So, I mean, I get that's actually a good read. Like, you can't be mad at that. I shouldn't have. I was so bent on thinking fullback dive was coming, fullback dive was coming, and I didn't allow myself to play good sound defense when I saw the tight end go out. So that that's on me a little bit. You can tell he knows what he's doing. He's running three three five. He's running, and that's what I'm saying, man. Three three five is the best defense in the game. It's it's not even a debate anymore. All right, release that delay fade, and he actually still has a linebacker on his field. So we're gonna go no huddle. Whenever I see someone. Um, and there you see that right there. Whenever I see someone not having the right personnel grouping out there that they're probably trying to have, I will almost always, almost always, um, just no huddle, no huddle, no huddle, no huddle, and try to get some quick, you know, some quick points. And right there, that was actually really good defense by him. Uh, I need to make sure that David, he is in the game. Okay, perfect. That was actually really good defense by him on that route to Aaron Jones. And we're actually going to go back to the same play just because um, it's, it's like my favorite play right now, just recently. And there it is. And there's that little stick work there to Valdez Scantling. Um, and that's, that's one of my favorite plays because it's so simple to run. And depending on their adjustments, it, it's normally wide open against off coverage. Like if they're running off coverage um, or shaded coverage up, it's actually really, really hard. Um, to be able to consistently stop this. So now we're going to go back to the PA boot over here. Um, you know, third and one situation. It may not be the best call, but we're going to roll with it. And our crosser is wide open on the outside. Perfect read and perfect throw by Rogers to Aaron, or um, from Rogers to um, to Devontae. And we're going to check down into our red zone system here. So, um, you know, whenever I'm playing a serious game, I'm definitely making sure that, you know, my red zone my red zone system is ready to go. I love fullback dive in the red zone. I think the, the fullback dive from strong tight in combination with the fullback dive from goal line, they're both completely different in, how you, in terms of how you want to stop them, in my opinion, at least for the way most people are going to try to defend it. Um, and as you see here, if he's going to sit in 3-3-5, three, three, um, we're literally just going to go into this fullback dive here. I don't know if he has a shoot, but one of the other things is when people lab shoots, they normally don't lab shoots when you motion. So oftentimes you can get some kind of some good stuff out of motion too. Um, we're actually going to, I saw something on that last play. We're going to try to take advantage of here. We're going to run the power O. See if you see that movement right there from that slot corner. Um, it's going to open up right there for us. And that's exactly what we saw in that last play. And we're able to get into the touchdown. So that's something that might be useful. I don't know if he's man aligning his defense or not, but when we motion, um, when we motion that that uh, that that tight end from the outside, we're able to get a mismatch and able to to score. So bunch tight end does its job. It goes down and gets seven. So now he's in a position where he needs to probably pass the ball. Um, he has two timeouts in a minute and twenty six. So we're going to get to see a little bit more of his reads, a little bit more of his lasers. Um, he had a really, really good, I felt like, first possession. Um, you know, we got him in a couple of fourth downs, a couple third downs, but all in all, it was pretty clean for him. So, you know, we've got to obviously make some adjustments here. One of the things that I think I might do um, for Tyree Kill and just the way that he's playing and a little quick snap is probably going to be flood. Let's take the slant, and I think that should have been an interception. That sucks. So right there, I mean, I felt like I had it. I felt like that was a book. Threw it right to me. And here we got a three wreck on the field now. And we'll take that pick. And again, another dropped interception. So three dropped interceptions in the first quarter. Uh, make sure that's on play ball. That's Jair Alexander. He threw that too. And that was that verticals play he went back to. Like I said, I haven't seen people have a ton of... Uh, of success with that. And he looks like he likes to quick snap, so. All right, I'm not going to worry about the. Gosh dang it, I messed up my adjustments. And there we go. That's good. That's good defense right there. 
So we missed one ad- we missed one adjustment at the very end of that play. But all in all, that played pretty good. And we're going to go back to that same and flip. Good job by him. And now what I fully anticipate is a quick snap. Yep, 100%. So we're going to take the timeout or the uh, – let's see. We need to get this guy in a – and you see that the adjustments – the adjustment game is not where I need it to be right now. But I know I have to take that crosser. And that's a, I mean, I think that's a terrible read. Uh, I don't know how that got open. Personally, I think it, I think that I just messed up one of my adjustments. But so far, so good defensively. Um, he's going to play the flip game again. And my adjustments are just not registering. So this is... This is where this is where playing bunch becomes the most, and I'm not kidding you when I say the most toxic, most annoying offense that I've ever faced, is when they flip it and flip it and flip it and flip it because your adjustments, especially if you play people sometimes online, if you're playing in person, it's not as big of a challenge, and it's still a challenge, but when you play online, um, I've noticed that a lot of times um, my adjustments are not registering. So um, I'm also playing on Xbox, so I'm still learning the controller a little bit. All right, so I've got the slant. And that's a good read. That's actually a really good read. Okay, good job. So this guy, I guess, has just lasers. I guess this guy's just a goon with gun bunch. So we're going to have to figure out what to do here. We're not playing good. Um, okay, so in this situation, this is actually um, – Worth talking about a little bit. When they come out in the goal line, like in this situation right here, I will call timeout every play because I want to get the ball back and get a chance to go get a field goal. So, you know, I don't know if he's going to score or not. I'm going to try to stop him. I'm still going to try to completely stop him. But a um, little clock management here. 26 seconds. You've got about three plays with that. Um, two if you're in bounds and you have to spike, I think. But that's enough. that's enough time. So... Um, anyway, what I fully anticipate here and what we're going to go to is we're going to blitz the crap out of him and just see if this works. Um, we're going to spy and run right down the middle. And I don't know how to call a timeout, so that's not good. I tried to call timeout right there and I wasn't able to, so I don't know. What, again, I don't know the Xbox controller too well. Weak side is me. Now, if he passes here, this quarter flat should take the tight end. Oh, gosh, dang. My safety did not do what I needed him to do. Good drive. Good drive by him. So we're in, a, we're in a tough game. This guy's got some stuff. This guy's got some schemes. Um, obviously, uh, Kenny Clark matched up against Damian Williams on a wheel route. It's not exactly what we're looking for. So we, we need to figure something out about that. That, I'm telling you right now from bunch, if, pe if people run a good bunch, what it means is they will do a combination of two things. They will, they will run their right running back on three different routes. Table route, option route, and wheel route. The three of them, you can't stop all three of them the same way. Okay, you you have to play different depending. So that's you know that's actually critical. Now three points here is really really important. I need to get down the field and go score three. So it'll be interesting to see kind of what his defensive strategy is. And we got the tight end delay fade for a lot of yards here, um, but not enough. And I think I just figured out how to call timeout. Awesome. So we've got 10 seconds. Um, this is where tight end corner needs to be big for me. This is – actually, you know what? Um, I was going to run curl flat corner, but based on the situation here, I'm going to go with tight end corner. I don't have enough time. Even if the out route's open, I can't take it. And Aaron Jones did not do me any favors. He just blitzed the crib at me too. Good defense, man. This guy's played some ball. You can tell he's played. Um, okay, so we're just going to try to see if he busts a coverage. He um, he might, depending you know on the situation. 
Oh gosh, dang it, got a scantling. That's not what I needed you to do, buddy. I'm gonna do that. So Tavon Austin deep is pretty much the read or Devontae. And you gotta be okay. Um, right there, I was trying to get. I, I passed. I should. If I would have passed led that up, I probably would have had that. But I was trying to pass lead it to the the outside to rack it so that I could then get up field quickly. And he got me. So good job. I mean, this guy's this guy is definitely a demon. H D Mayfield. I don't know who he is, but this guy knows his stuff a little bit. You can tell he's he's doing some stuff. Um, so. Overall, I mean, it was pretty clean first half. We just didn't score at the end of it. So now we've got to go out and score. That touchdown he had before half was huge. I felt like the defense has just not played where we needed to play so far. So we've got to make some adjustments. Um, I'm trying to even think, like, I guess it was a wheel route and an out route to Tyreek was what got him down into scoring range. And then, obviously, in the goal line, we blew it. So um we've got to be better in the goal line we've got to be better across but it just comes down to execution um in the goal line i've got to make sure to pull that safety down so that if he does run the fullback dive i have somebody ready for that uh in that situation so anyways um we need a good drive here so clear clear your head a little bit and uh and let's just execute that's the whole point and there's that delay fade mr tumness i love to jump dive I know I might fumble, but I think it looks really cool. So, anyway, inside switch here. You know, inside switch is one of those plays that I really like to go to when they're doing a lot of, like, just different things here. Uh, he's blitzing me a lot. So, <clears throat> this little inside switch play is, like, really, really hard to consistently blitz. So, that's why we want that there. Um, we're going to go to tight end corner here. He's probably going to blitz the crib again at us. I'm fully expecting that. And there you see, there's that post route that I was talking about. That route is so, so, so incredibly important in this offense. Um, I don't run it enough, so I'm trying to force myself to run it a little bit more. It'll be interesting to see what kind of defense he comes with here, if he does blitz, if he doesn't. Um, let's see if we can't score here. And I don't know what he did on his outside guy. I want to say he put him in a cloud, but I'm not 100% sure. His outside corner played really, really glitchy on that last play here. So we'll see what he does. And there's a touchdown right in the middle. So offense did its job. Defense has to do its job now. That's the bottom line. I mean, I think, you know, obviously the offense is really, really good. If you want to get it in the description, um, you know, it's just it, – it's so hard to stop. It's it's a really, really good offense. has answers for man, zone, match, everything. Um what people don't realize about this in particular offense is it's almost impossible to play sound match coverage against bunch tight end because of how glitchy the uh, tight end corner play can be for you. So anyway, um, we've got to play some defense. That's that's the bottom line here. So um, a couple of things as I think about this drive that's coming up. He has not – I don't think he's ran an option route yet, but what he has done is he has ran um, a tight end um, – a tight end drag so um, that's another thing that I have to watch out for here all right so this should be a one trap and we'll take that away good job I don't know why he's got Anthony I guess he doesn't want to fumble but a one trap right there this guy's interesting the way he plays he's like he's like a very conservative bunch player I almost feel like I'm playing blocky but uh, anyway, bunch offset here. All right. There's the in route. There's the in route. There's the pick, man. That was literally an interception. Man. I've had two. I've had two books. Let's see if he flips it. Oh man, that a drag? And I'm okay with that. I mean, you got to be okay with that. I mean, all 
All right, so if he goes left, if he runs like a tight end drag. Another, wow. This guy is, this guy is a goon, man. This guy is a goon. Uh, all right, so let's do that. Flip it. I can't adjust. Literally, I'm frozen. My player is completely frozen, and he's going to be able to throw a bubble screen. That's ridiculous, man. And that's that's the other thing that happens on defense. This is why bunch is so hard, um, and why, to be honest, I'm not scared at all of trips. I'm terrified to play gun bunch because of what you're seeing right here, um, where if they know what they're doing with the flipping, you literally will have situations where your controller will completely freeze out, and you won't be able to adjust. I've noticed that a lot lately, so anyway... Take that away. I got the tight end crosser. And that's just, that's just you know, that right there is an example of the Chiefs being the Chiefs. Like, you can't be too mad at that. But Cole Hardman got open on a drag. Like, I can't be that mad. Now here, I fully expect him to flip. So I'm going to set my, kind of my base defense up, expecting him to flip here. Yep, he did. So here should be a slant. There was another bad throw. Like, don't know how that wasn't picked. So that's going to bring him a fourth and four. Now, one of the things about Patrick Mahomes is Patrick Mahomes does not have Gunslinger. He has he has um, Dashing Deadeye. I think it's really interesting that he's coming out in bunch strong in this situation. Um, but what we're going to do right here is we are going to do some pretty heavily cross man him. Um, the one thing he might have, uh, I can't adjust, so we're going to have to just deal with it. Um, so I literally can't adjust. That's that's just that's just so sad. It's so sad that I can't adjust right there because that literally was a. Pick six. I had the adjustment for him. And now he's going to be in scoring position. And that's where I say, you know, anyone that runs a good bunch, they flip a lot. Like, flipping the bunch is like the thing that you can't prepare for. That's the thing that, like, it's very difficult to prepare for that, um, especially at a pace. You know, there is a pace to that. Right here, I don't know if this will work. We're going to try to get in there, make a sick. And there's another dropped interception. That's a, I think that's the third dropped interception on this drive alone. Um, he did have a touchdown, but, you know, again, it's like, come on, man. Let's, let's stop dropping picks. All right, so right here, uh, technically his side of strength, I'm, I'm lost. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Get out there, make a, go, make a play. And that's going to bring down, bring up a third down and about 10 yards to go. And I honestly am not mad at how my defense has played. Obviously, he's got, um, you know, good reads. But it all comes down to this right here. Now, one little adjustment that I like to make whenever I'm in the red zone, I will play a lot more uh, traditional, traditional quarters. Um... And go get him. Fumble. Fumble. There we go. Good defense. So uh, whenever I'm in the red zone, it's a lot harder to glitch the quarters out because you're in that compact space. So the match, from what I'm studying, um, plays a lot better in the red zone than it does outside the red zone. It still plays good outside the red zone. But in the red zone, it's special. It's special how good it is. So like on that play... And really, when they start flipping and doing all that stuff, if you can keep um, and force them to drive, get them inside about the 15-yard line, as long as you don't give up a run, the quarters will play bunch really, really well in the red zone. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, the only thing that they might have is either a... I think it's just a slant route. I think, literally, 
that's it. Like that's the only thing that beats quarters in the red zone. You don't have to worry about the the uh, the streak on the left. You don't have to worry about the bunch um, like glitching out and then freaking because there's not enough space for that route to get open. Because the way it gets open is a lob. If they try to bullet that streak, it won't get open. So um, you know, inside the red zone, you can pretty much handle bunch really well. And right here, Rodgers is just going to get loose, get out. Um, and we're on a guap drive. Like, this is a win. You know, this is where we win the game. Um, one of the things I noticed was that he ran cover three. Now, I do have three timeouts. And so this is kind of a little bit of game management. Second and inches of a shot play. Um, you can take a shot is what I'm getting at here. So if he plays cover three here, and he did, I'm going to go to my cover three bomb. Go ahead and score real quick. Go up by four. Now what this does, it does give him the ball back. So he can go down and he can win the game. But I still have three timeouts. I still have the two-minute warning. And I feel like my defense is starting to lock down this bunch. Um, you know, again, people run their bunch differently. This guy is doing a really good job of, like, consistently just flipping his bunch a lot. And so that's helping him a ton. So anyways... Um, that was a little bit of game management. I saw that he was he had been running uh, cover three pretty consistently out of three three five wide um, to use the matching of the outside thirds to try to do a little bit better job on the crossers. And anyway, so we just were able to hit him with our cover three beater. Um, he didn't adjust on those outside thirds. That out part of the reason people like those outside thirds is they'll do a decent job against like different types of concepts from bunch tight end. Uh, at least in my opinion, they will. So, anyways, all right, coming into bunch offset here. Uh, defensively, uh, we need, and right here I'm having a little bit of trouble getting my adjustments off. And he's going to go to this, and I need to get a, a hard flat. I'm going to pass commit here. And we're going to hard flat on that side too, and I'm going to pass commit. We'll probably see a run here. And there we go. So he's got 11 carries for 9 yards, so you can't be mad at the run defense. Now, if I'm in his shoes, I don't know. Do you try to get a playoff before this or not? All right. And there's another. That's the story of this game right there. I mean, he literally threw it into four people. Instead of a pick, he catches it. All right, now fully anticipate the flip. So we're not even going to set the three wreck. And he's going to go. Throws a streak again to the tight end. That's on me a little bit. He's thrown that He's thrown that way too much for me to keep. I'm just surprised that he's getting it off so well. But that's on me a little bit. That's going to be taken away on this, this play right here. If I can adjust. I can't adjust for whatever reason. Thank you, Madden. And here we go. Okay, so this should be taken away. We're taking the tight end. Drag. And somehow Tyreek Hill just got open. Dang. Dang. I don't know what he just called. Uh. I gotta look at that. I gotta look at the film on that. He just ran. Did he just run a streak? So this is where quarters will typically play a little bit better. So I'm gonna um, man up the tight end here. If he wants to run the ball, like I'm kind of okay with that. I mean, he might just try to run because he does have three timeouts. I'm gonna pass him in here. So I've got Tyreek Hill taken care of, I think, to the outside. Uh, come down on that Redman. I need you to come down just a little bit harder on that drag. So the other question is, like, when do you start calling your timeouts? I'm going to let the clock go down on this. Um, because the problem, second, like, if he gets another first down, that's when I'm going to call my timeout. But you're going to see me play a little bit more aggressive. Now that we're inside the 20-yard the line, you're going to notice that the quarters doesn't glitch out as much. This is just my opinion. And, you know, I could be saying all this and just to, just to have him, you know, do this. But it looks like he is going to go down to this. But I'm not as worried as, like, 
Tyree Kill doing that, that's more of what I'm worried about. And there you see, there's the timeout call. So if he scores, he goes up by set by three. That means I got to go get a field goal. So I got to leave myself enough time. That's kind of part of the reason why I did that. Um, all right, now we're not going to make the same mistake here. So we're bringing this guy down and bringing this guy over. And that's good run defense. And yet again, the luckiest player I've ever played. I mean, there's four people there. He breaks the tackle. And now he wants to take some more clock. So um, just a all around, like, you, I'm not even mad at how my, my defense played. I feel like we dropped at least six interceptions. But you know what? At the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, the corner route got me, though. I mean, the, 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 the corner route was the play of the game. Um, so anyway, right here, I got to get down in here. I need to bring this guy down. And we'll see if he flips me. Yep. And good D, good D. Let's take a timeout. All right, we need one more stop here. So depending on what he comes out in, third and – I mean, I guess we technically need two more stops. Um, because he's only really running fullback dive, we're going to do this. We're going to run commit. He might pass. If he passes, it's okay. I'm okay with giving that up. Man. He had all day. We blitzed to 10 people, and he had literally a... He could pant camp down there, man. Jeez. All right, so our mission is to score. We've got... Um, 20 seconds, so practically we really got about two plays. So there's a couple of different plays in bunch tight end that you can use for this situation. That's what I like about bunch tight end. I feel like a lot of um, a lot of offenses, it's like you just chuck one. With this one, because there's a couple of different routes that can get open, there's actually some 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 thinking behind it. So um, tight end corner is going to probably be our first play call. Most people would probably expect me to go to PA cross. Um, but I'm not going to do that. And the reason why I'm not going to do that is because, uh, just of the situation a little bit here. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to bluff him. So if you look here on the left side, he's showing, um, I want to say he's showing cover four. I mean, technically he's showing cover two, but anyway, what we're going to do right here is we're going to do this setup and we're going to try to hit Devonte Adams. And I think we got him. Man, I thought we had him. That was a soft squat zone. Wow. That was a soft squat zone? Got back that far? I guess it's because I didn't have a vertical uh, route. Okay, so in this situation, because of the what he's doing defensively... Um, this is this is why, like this route to Vada Scantling, you have to take you have to make that a streak in this situation, unfortunately. But if we can hit this quick slant, get us up to about the fifty yard line, that could be huge. Let's see what happens here. And uh, throw out a sack in the pain of the loss. Probably one of the luckiest. I mean, he's even going to get a touchdown out of that. I mean, I am. I had the uh, I had the receiver wide open too, and that's where I probably should have blocked the tight end or something. But man, this is probably one of the most frustrating games of Madden I've played all year, and I'm gonna end up taking the loss. Um, this one hurts. This one this one definitely hurts. But we'll learn from it. Biggest thing we got to take away is we've got to go deal with the corner route from Gun Bunch from the slot. Um, that that got us. This guy, I I would love to play him in the Madden Classic, and I think I would probably beat him by about 25 points. So, anyways, um, if you have any questions about anything, just hit me up via text message. If you want any of the ebooks, I know it didn't look that great, but to be honest with you, I feel like they actually played really well. Um, he just he just made some plays 
uh, and did a, and did a good job. I mean, it came down to a couple of plays one way or the other, and sometimes that's how you lose. I mean, sometimes that's how you lose, you know. But we could at least say with confidence we were in a position to win the game. Um, we just didn't, you know, we just didn't execute down the stretch, unfortunately. But uh, overall, I felt like we played okay. Um, I probably should have ran this play more with how much he's running. Uh, cover two. Now again, of course, I'm gonna say that and throw a pick, but I had that over the top if I could have just a little bit more time. So good, good game by him. Uh, good game. And uh, again, if you want any of the ebooks, just hit me up via text message. If you have any questions, uh, just text me. All the ebooks are linked below. So if you want the bunch or you want the three three five wide, it's all in there. So good game to this guy, and hopefully we'll see him again.